Go Powerful and this is Uncut News. In an unsurprising turn of events, the court proceedings against pseudo finance minister Ashley Singh and Winston Fatty Boom Boom Brasington have been dismissed. This is according to their attorney, Says Gunraj. Singh and Brasington were before the courts for the Prattaville land sale scandal. The case was brought on by the former APNU AFC government. The PPP always maintained that the charges were politically motivated, and as such, it was quite unsurprising that when they came into power, the charges would all of a sudden be dropped. Oh well, just another day in Guyana. Police are investigating the brutal murders of a mother and her two daughters in Four Mile Squatting Area, Baltica. Dead are Caroline Kennedy and her two daughters, five-year-old Mariana Downer and three-year-old Gabrielle Kennedy. According to police, on Saturday night, the three were burned alive in their home by Kennedy's husband, Kenford Downer. Reports indicate that Kennedy and Downer had an argument earlier that evening. It is suspected that he lit the small wooden house on fire while the woman and the children were sleeping. After the fire, police found Downer close to the home and arrested him. Scamming Yuri and Ataka just got denied! Chief Justice Roxanne George has thrown out an application made by the couple to have their accounts unfrozen and the charges against them dismissed. The partners in crime were seeking orders of prohibition against the police and the DPP to have the charges against them dismissed. The couple had also sought an order of prohibition against Attorney General Alan Nondalor to stop his investigation into their scam. Seeing this, Nondalor turned and told them to hold their ass and sued them right back. The Chief Justice upheld Nondalor's submissions and stated that Dominguez provided no good evidence to explain why the cops should leave him to scum in peace. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's car of the day. Currently on sale is this 2015 Suzuki SX4 S-Cross. It comes with all-grip four-wheel drive, steering controls, TV, navigation serial, crystal lights, mug rims, fog lamps, and much, much more. Pay cash for $5.1 million, or pay down as low as $1,020,000 with around $98,000 monthly, and it's yours. Call the WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info, or visit their showrooms at Lot 171 Peter Rowe Street, Queenstown, or Lot 2 Lamar Street, and tell them Noriko sent you for this sweet deal. Police in Region 1 say they have caught the person allegedly responsible for setting fire to the Arakaka police station on last Friday. On Saturday evening, Police arrested a 29-year-old man from Central Arakaka Village, Northwest District. According to the officers, the man has allegedly confessed to setting the blaze, which means they probably smashed his lowly repeatedly in a desk drawer until he said he did it. Anyway, he is presently in the police custody, probably having, well, trouble peeing. On Friday evening, a delivery man was robbed of his Honda XR motorcycle while he was making a drop-off at Cane View Avenue, South Rumfeld Gardens. After making the drop at around 6.50pm, Mark Noble was confronted by four men on motorcycles. One of the men hopped off and robbed Noble of the motorcycle registration number CH7160 before riding off. Police claim to be investigating the crime. Claim because we know they aren't going to find it. But hopefully they do find the four guys and smash their lowlies in a drawer. The police are currently investigating a fatal accident which occurred Sunday morning. 39-year-old Pushotam Tilak of Aldwych Street, Kingston, Quarantine, Bavis was riding a bicycle when he was knocked down by a minibus on the Springlands public road in Quarantine, Bavis. The driver alleges that Tilak suddenly crossed the road, putting him right into the path of the vehicle. Tilak was taken to the Skeldon Public Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries later. Police arrested the driver, who reportedly passed a breathalyzer test, which means he was this awful of a driver, sober. Check out Cellular Plus and get 50% off this DL3 Pro with a 5.5-inch screen, 32GB storage, and 5-megapixel camera. Take advantage of this special Christmas offer and get a 30-day Prime Bundle plan with your purchase. Get it now at Cellular Plus for just $12,000. The police are currently investigating the circumstances surrounding the suspected murder of 23-year-old Mason Keith Andrew Willis of Bachelor's Adventure, East Coast Demerara. This morning, Willis's body was discovered on the Bachelor's Adventure Oxus Road, East Coast Demerara, by persons unknown. According to police, Willis was last seen alive around 11pm on Sunday night. He was reportedly going home from his girlfriend's house. His body was found laying on the roadway around 5am this morning. Police noted stab wounds in the body's upper neck. No suspects have been arrested yet. Investigations are ongoing. It's now time for today's Runner Report. 
Today, the nation recorded 23 new cases. The total number that now stands at 156. There are now 8 persons in the ICU and 657 persons in home isolation. The total number of known cases in the country is now 5,943. So please, people, wash your hands frequently. Avoid touching your nose and mouth and mask up before you leave the house. When you do leave home, try to avoid enclosed spaces and large crowds, and remember to give six feet of space between you and others. Now, let's take a look in news in the region and around the world. A group of 11 Venezuelans, including children, drowned on their way to Trinidad and Tobago. However, it's believed that nine more are missing. Trinidad's Coast Guard said it received information from Venezuelan authorities that 11 bodies had been recovered from the waters close to the Venezuelan coastal city of Guria. The vessel, according to preliminary information, had departed Guria on December 6th with more than 20 people on board. They have not been seen or heard from since that day, and of course, as I said, only 11 of the bodies were recovered. We're now in the height of robbery season. If I were you, I would consider getting security for the home of business. I personally recommend Sheriff Security Service. I find that they are the most professional, with well-trained armed or unarmed guards. Get some security this Christmas, people! The United States is rolling out its first batch of Rona vaccines as the country gears up for its largest ever immunization campaign. An intensive care nurse in Long Island, New York is believed to have been the first person to have been given the shot. Millions of vials of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine are being distributed, with 150 hospitals expected to receive the dose by day's end. The U.S. vaccination program aims to reach 100 million people by April, which is about a third of the nation's population. The vaccine received emergency use authorization by the FDA on Friday, and by the projections made, Dr. Anthony Fauci believes the nation will achieve herd immunity by mid-April. And now for our weird news story of the day. People out there have some interesting fetishes. Some people are attracted to pain, some leather, and others even weirder stuff, like Rain Gordon from Moscow, Russia. Gordon says she has always been interested in inanimate objects. However, no one, or rather I should say, nothing quite struck Rain like her current husband, a briefcase named Gideon. The 24-year-old nursery teacher got married to the briefcase, yes, a briefcase named Gideon, in June this year, with a mate officiating the ceremony, which means a friend of theirs got her married to a briefcase because apparently he must have hated her. Anyway, speaking about their relationship, Rain said she first met Gideon Buck in 2015 after the first encounter in a hardware store, and it was love at first sight. She claims that from childhood, she's believed in animism, which means there is a soul in every single object, including Gideon, who she says has been nothing short of a mentor to her. Oh my, this generation truly needs guidance. Moving on to our uncut news, viewers poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Guyana, the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it relates to us. So you give your responses in the comments, and we'll read the best ones in the following episode. Friday's question was about Granger's refusal of the president's invitation. 104 says, Mr. Granger is making himself look like a loser. He's not telling his supporters about the exact details of the meeting. Gordon Allen said, I think Mr. David Granger is right. Why a meeting is being held without any clear objective. I'm happy to see someone using common sense. Sharon Davis says, Granger should have stood up like this for his supporters during the election. He waits too late to have a voice. And finally, Empress King said he wanted to meet Granger so he could hand over Exxon's oil account. Aha! Oh, well, it sounds like we've had a wide range of opinions on the former president's decision. I love questions like this where you give me a broad range of answers. So, before we get to tonight's question, brighten up the holiday season and decorate your homes with new stock of vinyl, carpet, rubber tile, leather, glassware, stories, table plastic, rugs, and roll runner easy to clean carpet. Available in many colors, patterns, and designs to choose from. Beat the rush and enjoy the glorious days of shopping at Ravina's and Anand's. Ravina's and Anand's have unbeatable prices. For fast and comfortable shopping, visit them at Ravina's at 17A Water Street or Anand's at 108 Regent Street. Or you can even call them on telephone number 225-6595. Now for tonight's question. Do you feel the charges against Brasington and Singh were politically motivated, or do you think they were guilty of some sort of skullduggery? Think about that question and tell us in the comments below. If your response is good, we just might feature it in Tuesday's episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. Check us out tomorrow for another 
Until then, I'm Mirko Bolford saying good night, folks. Hey, Uncut News viewers, thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on this button over here, or click over there for more news. You can also drop a comment to let me know if you've made it to the end of the video. Goodbye for now!